Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to have a look at the WZ-121GFT, the Chinese tank destroyer that's been around for a long time. It's been around for a very long time. But one thing it's never done is been in the direct store for gold, like just in the store for gold. It's always been for money or it's always been in crates. It has been for like... Uh, Blitz fair and the auction and stuff like that, um, but in the in the store directly, you you've never been able to buy this tank for gold. Why is that? Now, Wargaming once told me that it's never been like that because of how good the tank is, uh, and it was kind of OP back in the day. Nowadays, it, it's not really that OP. I mean, it's still a great tank, but it's just you don't see it. You don't see this tank at all now. Uh, so Wargaming have bought it back in the store for more crates why after all this time i mean it's been what four five years since this tank's been released and you're still bringing it back for crates why as if we haven't got enough crates in the freaking store you bring it back again after all this time for crates just sell it just sell the freaking tank no they don't sell it they bring it back in crates so what is the tank all about why is it so op why is it so great um now looking at the stat wise it's not great it's not great by the stats only 1100 hit points hull armor only 120 but don't take that for granted because the hull is actually very very troll but you need to make it troll you need to move your tank if you just sit there yes they might not be able to pin you but as soon as they switch to their premium they will be able to penetrate you so you need to move your hull and you will generate bounces uh dpm 2908 not the best dpms for tank destroyers in tier 8 but it's still decent aim time uh sorry reload is 8.25 penetration 248 on your ap 310 on your heat uh, which is decent and uh, 61 on your he it has a 400 alpha 340 on your heat and 500 on your he Aim time 3.4 and the dispersion 0.326 and it only has 6 degrees of gun depression but the speed is a lovely 50 kilometers per hour. So yeah, not, not bad. It isn't the best but looking at the it stats on paper, it isn't the best tanks. It isn't. So why is it so good? It just is. It just troll. The gun's decent. The speed is very, very good. And the armor is very, very troll. Because of the sloped armor, the armor is actually really, really, really troll. So the idea to play the tank is not like a tank destroyer. Now, we are going to go and have a live gameplay battle. It could go horribly wrong. Um, but if I... Because I'm doing it live, I'm talking while I'm playing. My, my hand might cover the microphone. If it does, I do apologize. Uh, so you're probably going to get some static noise. But I'll try and eliminate that as much as I possibly can. So live gameplay is the best kind of gameplay, best kind of video content. Because it just shows the game in live play it shows it as it is i'm not playing the game i'm not playing the uh, the tank for six seven battles trying to get a decent battle i'm out there now uh so it could go horribly wrong i could do zero damage i could do 6k damage uh, but at least live it will show you how i'm playing the tank how to how you should play the tank or maybe even how not to play the tank uh, but i never play this tank as a tank destroyer i never sit there and play it as a tank destroyer i play it as a, a medium or a heavy uh, with your team so there goes a nice shot there on the t44 now there is quite a few tanks around here i don't really want to rush in that much but i'm going to push in anyway uh, so i do have my team with me here and i am going to round here i do really want to take out this t44 because he's uh he's uh, a juicy target for me and is he going to come up yes he is uh see as you can see you wiggle you can get bounces and that is what you've got to do now this guy is going to push me um again if you're just sitting still like i am now they will be able to penetrate you and now i'm actually going to get deleted because i've got so many tanks around me uh but yeah just wiggle if you just wiggle you might generate some bounces as you can see there but i think i'm just about to die and i'm um, just managed to get back in time so yeah it's uh as you can see 
it's not impenable it really isn't impenable and uh, you can get deleted but you can get them bounces as well so uh, yeah bear that in mind you will get the bounces but you will also get shot so uh, pay attention to your armor uh, so yeah not too bad I mean it's it's not the best of battles but you know we, we did the job and uh, this guy is just gonna sit in front of me thank you Chimera uh, before you know it, there's only three tanks left so nice and easy even though I'm only 44 hit points uh, very very easy game now there is two Borziks out here and I know they were around this way uh, so yeah I just need to be very very careful with these guys but this is a Borzik nightmare this tank really is a Borzik nightmare because a Borzik often bounces on this tank so uh yeah hopefully we won't have the uh we won't give the Borzik the option uh the, the chance to bounce but you can see we like got deleted we got absolutely deleted at the start but we still managed to bring it back and we just missed that he shot there unfortunately uh but we're not going to push in just yet that samoa is up there uh and he's probably going to get wrecked if i'm honest but now yeah the, the samoa is going to get wrecked so i'm just going to turn around and go for this uh samoa as he's not looking at me i don't really want to go for the borzix and i think i might just die here are we going to go for the he shot yes we are and we do manage to clear him uh but i think it's gonna be uh i think it's gonna be game over for us is he gonna miss no he's not and i think we're actually gonna lose this game now because of uh the team so yeah i mean we we lost a little a lot of hit points at the start there it was a lot of hit points which is unfortunate um but you know i just that's how i play this tank i don't play it sat at the back of the map i play it front line as as any other uh, sort of medium or heavy tank uh, and that's uh, that's what works the best normally and we still picked up almost 3k damage which is still pretty decent now we could actually win this game because one borzik is a one shot this borzik is actually a one shot to the uh, to the smasher if he can stay alive they do honestly need to take out the other borzik though is he going to be able to one shot him unfortunately not and that is game over fair play to these two Borziks. they are in a platoon and they actually played really really well together and they won they won the team the game uh so i'm a bit annoyed with that game even though i still look i mean look 3.3k damage i still done my job even though i lost all my hit points at the start of the game i still did my job and if it wasn't for them Borziks, uh we would have definitely won that game so yeah very unfortunate but you know what we're gonna go and have another game because we can't we can't have that game we can't have that we can't have a loss um but yeah hopefully that game even though I, I was front line, maybe don't push as far forward as, as I did. Maybe sort of behind your mediums a little bit or, or just behind your heavies and use that DPM. Now, the enemy have, this game have light tanks, medium tanks. So hopefully we're going to push to the left side. Hopefully. Now, where are you going? No, 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 no. T25, no. Uh, so where are they going? Come on, come on. Uh, so yeah. I mean, the team's not really moving at the moment. The Bulldog's gone for the, the B cap, which is fair enough. Uh, they do have some TDs on the enemy team, which I'm uh, ever so uh, worried about. But no one's really been spotted at the minute. Now, the Skoda T27 has gone first. He's gone forward, and he's going to spot the team. Uh, do I push in? Now, I am going to push in here for one reason only, because my team are behind. I'm able to get a HE shot there, and now I'm just going to back up and back up and back up and wait and then i'm gonna go and push forward into this guy and i missed that shot jesus christ what was that shot uh but yeah this skoda absolutely got ripped apart what the hell he got ripped apart uh rip for him uh but we're just gonna sit here because i'm quite comfortable here to be honest if this guy comes around i can easily take him out uh no problem whatsoever this lorraine's gonna push forward and as you can see the armor profile if you're looking directly at him of course you're not gonna get bounces but you need to wiggle your tank if you wiggle your tank you will get bounces regardless uh you can't rely on the armor of course you can't rely on the armor we're just going to wait for the borzik here get him gone and now we're going to chase this amx 13 uh, no problem whatsoever because the, there's a two tanks to the to the right there and we should be able to deal with this guy and he shouldn't be able to deal with us uh, especially as we do have an ru251 with us so yes we've lost hit points but you know what it's been it's been a pretty decent game 622 uh, damage there into that guy and before you know it's going to be it's going to be a win it's going to be a nice easy win we can still take a shot although i don't really want to be shot from the vk uh 168 uh but again 
but two games here just goes to show my play style in this tank. Sometimes it might not be right. Of course, it might not be right. You might get wrecked. Uh, you might not. You might works out well. Um, but yeah, I haven't bounced too many shots in this tank, to be honest. Can I get the shot off? No, I'm not. See, the accuracy isn't the best, uh, as you can see, but that was my own fault. I could have had time to aim it. And now we're just going to push towards this guy, no problem whatsoever. And I don't want to lose any hit points at the moment. I don't want to lose any hit points whatsoever. Uh, so move. If you aim, as you can see there, if you move your tank, you will get bounces, guys. Honestly, if you, you need to wiggle. Of course, if you're going to get shot from... Uh, big heavy uh, med uh heavy tanks like this of course you're not going to get so many uh so many bounces so um but overall that's how i play this tank it's a very very good tank uh definitely worth having that was stupid and now i'm gonna die that was stupid but you know what uh, we got the win. We got the win. And again, I still picked up a fair amount of damage very, very easily. Uh, and I, I still got a little bit of block damage, but not too much. Uh, so again, another 3.3k game. And it, you get that regularly. And that is me in a TD playing front line, like furthest forward. I'm the furthest forward and I'm still picking up the highest amount of damage. So yeah, it's definitely, I'm hoping Wargaming do sell this tank because you don't see it now. You re, you you very rarely see this tank uh, and it's unfortunate because it is such a nice tank that never gets spoken about now uh, because it's just quite a rare tank because Wargaming had never sold it. They only sell it for crates and they only sell it for gold. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you do get the tank, of course it is worth playing. It's because it's, it's just amazing. I, I hope one day Wargaming do sell it for for gold for those that don't that don't like crates that just won't spend money on crates. Good on you. Uh, but yeah, it is a very very nice tank. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Again, sorry for the uh, the sound if it's uh, a bit messed up. But you know, until I get my microphone, it's gonna have to make do. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Meadsy, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye bye. We'll be right